Welcome back to the channel. That's right. We have some new uh, stuff going on with the aquarium. And that's right. Microbacter Star XLM. So that's what we're about to talk about. We're about to talk about something because I decided to go ahead and keep the real reef rock in this aquarium. Why? Why did you even take a pole, Rico? Well, I took a poll because I wanted to hear your guys' thoughts and whatever on the matter. But after doing some more investigation and looking further into what I planned on doing, I came to find out that not that I can't, it would just take a lot longer to cycle the aquarium if I use Carapsee Life Rock. Well, why is that, Rico? Well, let me just simply put it, which obviously I don't know. I haven't used it. But I'm going to be using it because I did hear that Microbacter Star uh, will cycle your aquarium within a week. First off, for those that are very impatient, that is an excellent thing. That is awesome. All right. Nobody wants to wait eight weeks, 12 weeks and all this stuff. Nobody wants to do it. Let's just face the fact. Nobody wants to do it. Period. All right. So. Brightwell's been working on a product called Microbacter Star XLM. They finally released it. Okay, now I've had this product for about a week or so, two weeks maybe. Uh, they released it. I'm, and I'm sure they're probably having a hard time keeping up with the demand right now just because nobody wants to wait to cycle their aquarium. They want it now. Everybody wants it now. So, I have some for this aquarium. Now, the reason why I stayed with real reef rock, because uh, it doesn't have any kind of bacteria already on the rock. Now, KFC Life Rock, for you guys that may may not know, uh, coats their stuff with bacteria already. Well, when you get two types of bacteria, sometimes they just don't want to play nice. All right? So, and if you don't want to play nice... Well, it prolongs the results of what's going on in your aquarium or what you will like to have go on in your aquarium, which for us is just hurry up. All right. So we get that. So not saying that it won't work. It will still work. I think it just takes a lot longer. Therefore, I was like, you know what? I really just want this to be cycled and to be done with it. Now, this is still RO water in here. I haven't done anything to this aquarium at all. Just left what was in here. Uh, get it wet. Get uh, everything, whatever, released. Little pieces of paper and stuff that was stuck to the rock when it came in from shipping. And all that cool, cool stuff like that. For this stuff, it seems very uh, simple. Uh, you add what you, you know, what you have as far as a water volume. You add to to a couple uh, hardy fish, like some damsels, something that we used to do back in the day to just cycle. We just throw some fish in there and cycle the aquarium that way. Let them poo, pee, you know, or, you know whatever, poo, whatever. Um, and just let, that, let it naturally just run its course. All right, well, the same thing, but you're just using the fish to go ahead and do that to continue to feed the bacteria and basically to cycle your aquarium really fast. It's very, uh, this is live bacteria, enzymes, prozos, you know, things that some of you may or may not get or understand. Uh, one cool thing I, I did learn too also about this product, that this product, say if you're living in a very cold state and you're setting up for the winter, a brand new saltwater aquarium, and you're just trying to get some products in and all the things that you need to set up your system, uh, this stuff can take one freeze as well, like straight freeze. So, and still be viable and, and, and as if nothing ever happened. Now, I'm not going to freeze it to find out, um, to be quite honest. Uh, that's what I was told. And I do believe they are not uh, blowing smoke uh, up my butt. So, 
that is cool about a product. Some products just are not viable after that. They just It's just done. It is what it is. And it's over. So I'm going to be doing that. Also, I, I you know, I, so I apologize for the poll. You know, it is what it is. It was a close race on the poll anyway. But after finding that out, um, I think it was just best just to keep what I got have in here. Uh, I do like the rock work. Actually, when I did it live, I was like really pleased the way it came out. So I was like, okay, whatever. Now, I was going to do a poll also about uh, adding sand or no sand. Uh, I honestly, guys, I'm going to be honest, and I, I know some of you already have questions or whatever. You leave that down in the comment section. All right, just let me know whatever it is that you, you know, whatever. I still got to put polls up for the heaters, uh, wave pumps, return pumps. You know, stuff like that. I do have to get those things out to you. But, man, I mean, when I look at this aquarium, and it, this is a Red Sea Reef for 350 by the way. All right, when I look at it, I love it, right? Like, I actually love it. Now, it's been days that I have, you know, had this rock in here and water in here. And, you know, I come down every day and I just look at it and say, you know what? I really like it. The thing is... I don't think I like it without sand. I'm sorry. This is one of four tanks. I don't know if I'm really doing the right thing by not putting sand in the system. And I'm just being honest with you. I really don't feel like I'm doing the right thing. I don't, I'm not doing this tank justice by not putting sand in it. I think it's it's really a nice, clean looking system. It's a Red Sea Reefer. I, and, you know, I really didn't fall in love with it until I went to another YouTuber's house of one of my followers and, and, and really sat back and really looked at his beautiful system. And he's got a red seat as well. And I, now that I personally own one as well, I just can't see not putting sand in here. Maybe I should put a poll up just to, just to see... What people really think. Maybe you guys can let me know. Should I put that poll up anyway in the comment section? Just let me know. And if so, just to see what people's real thoughts are with sand and no sand would be, let me know about that. Yeah, I think, just leave me a comment down in the comment section on that. So that's where I'm at with that. I love the rock work. I don't think I'm going to change it. I might add one single piece of rock. You know, maybe stationary out in this section. I know it's really blue and it's really hard for you guys to see exactly what's going on. I get that. And I do apologize. I have no filter or anything on here. But Microbacter Start should allow us to have this thing rocking and rolling within a week. And speaking of that, this bacteria here, sand provides so much more surface area for bacteria to colonize and to really get the system going. Whether you want to believe that or not, it's more surface area for more bacteria to colonize on and to really rock and roll. Now, there's plenty of tanks out there that are bare bottom and whatever. They want to be able to really crank up that flow and get that to try to suspend it. But, you know... It's really never been that big of a deal. I know there's so many new people that's coming into this hobby that has all these, you know, ideas of how a system should run. And you can always tweak things and, and you can always relate to understanding why they're saying what they're saying. But really, is it the best thing? That's the thing. And a lot of people are so quick to jump on the next best thing that you really lose the purpose of why the sand's there in the first place. Is it just for detritus or is it a place for food for other small organisms to go ahead and feed and thrive to keep a beautiful, successful reef tank really thriving? I'm not saying no sand you, you system can't thrive, but how do we measure what exactly is what and how good something really is by the way it looks? Hey, a lot of us look great today, dead tomorrow. It's just one of those simple things that do we really know? Now, it'd be cool if BRS could try to really get down to the bottom of that with their 52-week series. But honestly, I don't know if that's very possible. There's so much that's got to go into that. And we're 
only doing things by visual, what we visually see, okay? Uh, and at the end of the day, now the equipment that we would need to maybe analyze the water in a totally different way to see exactly what sand bed versus no sand bed and stuff like that, that is something that, hey, maybe BRS can do something like that. But for right now, I know we're going to be using this Brightwell Aquatics Microbacter Star XLM, and I really believe that we're going to add sand to this. But I'll still do a poll and see what you guys think. But for me, I think it's a must that sand needs to be in here for more beneficial bacteria uh, to colonize uh, on it, you know, on the sand bed and really get the aquarium up and running. What do you guys think on that? So I've been sitting here rambling on for a little bit now. Um, I really don't know what else you guys have questions for me. If you want to leave those down in the comment section down below, go ahead and do so at this time. But for right now, I just want you guys to know this is going to be the product of choice right now because of what I've heard. Cycling your aquarium within seven days, maybe sooner. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Now, once I get the test kits also, let me remind you. Once I get my test kits to be able to test for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, those are the test kits that I'm going to need to go ahead and do that, right? Um I will probably do a live daily once I'm ready. Now, first off, I do have to leave this week um, through the weekend to go to Florida to pick up Reef Savvy Tanks for Tidal Garden. Now, me and Frost are going to go together as well with Van, and we're all going to have a nice little trip down there uh, to grab these tanks and drive them all back. So look forward to next weekend, or the beginning of next week, uh, for the processes of what Microbacter Star XLM is doing, and if it is what it says it is, which those guys don't have no reason to really lie about anything. Come on, let's be honest. Um, I have it, so why would you give it to me if it's not what it is, right? Anyway, so we're going to get this thing up and running. I appreciate you guys. Uh, staying with this channel, following along. Appreciate you guys being true diehard subscribers and all that good stuff. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe for any future updates. This is one of four aquariums that we will be setting up. As of right now, things can change. I might not be here tomorrow, but that's what we plan on doing on this wall. And one of those tanks, I really don't mind making it a bare bottom. I just can't see it on this beautiful Red Sea Reefer 350. I'm sorry. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. Peace.